up, guys? It's Liv here from Global Spin 365 with DJ Infamous. Talk to me. Okay, so literally my mom texted me, and she was like, oh, Olivia, I got some information for you or something. And I was like, yeah, talk to me. <laughs> and as I literally, as I said it, I thought of you. I was like, this is Infamous's voice. This is how I'm saying it. It's a movement. It really is. It's like, a, like when, you ha- when you write the talk to me, it's like a million years. Yes, exactly. And it's not 2-T-O. It's literally the number two. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> So how excited are you for this Bad Boy Reunion concert Listen, tonight? I'm so excited because, you know, this is the era that I grew up in. You know right. I started DJing in, like, 94, uh, 95, 96. You know, that was my era when I was buying records. I was only, like, 10 years old. You know, I was 10, 11. Ten, between 10, 11, 12, that's when I was really figuring out my DJing. I was right. DJing parties, you know, here and there, but I was still buying records. Um, I still, you know, Bad Boy in those those years were like on fire. So I really had a lot of bad boy music, you know, from uh, Faith Evans, Total, Mace, Biggie, like everybody. So like, I personally had to fly out here for this concert, the first show. Like as soon as they announced it and said that they was doing it, I got tickets, I I put a phone call in, (laughs) had to get that, getting tickets. Ciroc boys in town. I put the phone call in, it's like, yo, I need tickets. (laughs) I'm booking my flights in a hotel right now. This was like months ago. Crazy. And I don't never book ahead of time like that. Right. You know, I could have had a gig this today or could have been out. You know, Chris could have had a show. Right. But I just said, yo, I'm booking it and whatever happens, happens. Dropped everything. Yeah, dropped everything. So who are you most excited to see tonight? Obviously, you know, Diddy, Jay-Z is going to be there. Yeah. Crazy. Um, I want to see Total. I was a big Total fan. Really? Yeah, it was something about them chocolate girls. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um. <laughs> I'm real happy to see just everybody together. I really like, I like, I love Total. I like uh, seeing Lil' Kim. I like Lil' Caesars there now. And I like that. Um, I always like the Diddy Mace combo. Like, mm-hmm. you know, separate, yeah, they dope too. But right. them back to back with the records that they have, crazy. Incredible. Another level. Incredible. That I gotta, I can't wait to see it. I'm gonna be dancing all through the aisle. So if anybody <laughs> sees me, a six foot five tall guy in all black. I can't wait. I'm gonna be recording it and put it on World Star. I'm DJ take, I'm, Infamous, Ludacris is right. DJ. Yeah, working like in the aisles. Right. All through the aisles, dancing. <laughs> all right, so we are going to play okay. a little game. Let's do it. Let me get myself together. <laughs> okay. What kind of game is this? <laughs> so. This is what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to play What's Infamous's Favorite? So this is going to be rapid-fire yes, questions. Okay. And That's basically... Hard, way, really. Yeah, that is because, you know, the, I, got these, uh, I got these from TV Johnny's, um, the Diamond Grills in, in Houston. Oh, super dope. Yeah. Well, shout-out to TV Johnny's for this picture like because... Cutout. Yeah. After this is over with. Let of course, this is yours. This is, this is our gift to you. Sounds good to me. I got some more in store for him. Okay. Ready? Yep. All right, so basically these are rapid-fire questions. Right. I'm going to name what's your favorite movie, and you just got to dish them back out. Got you. You ready? Yep. All right. Favorite movie? Juice. Favorite food? Macaroni and cheese. Favorite celebrity to open for? Ooh. Ludicrous. Favorite bad boy jam? Can't nobody hold me down. Favorite place to travel? Uh, Dubai. Favorite place to go after the club to get something to eat? Um, Our Thomas. All right. So, good job. He, he <laughs> answered pretty quick to all of them. Yeah. Now, word on the street is you and DJ Holiday are pretty close. Yeah, it's, more, like it's one of my good friends. One of my best friends, you know. So we actually had an interview with DJ Holiday, and we played a little game with him. Okay. So we're about to play a little game with DJ Infamous. Right. How well does he really know DJ Holiday? So we have DJ Holiday <laughs> here, <laughs> and I'm going to give you scenarios. You know that 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 picture is like that face is like I'm put him on blast like eight years old. <laughs> you know he don't look like that no more. <laughs> he don't look- it look like that. Well, tell Google Images they need to update their pics. <laughs> nah, All right, let's go. Let's do so it. I'm going to give you scenarios, and you have to hold up the face. Okay. Who's more likely to do the scenario, DJ Infamous okay. or DJ Holiday? Right, so here's your little Holiday oh, fathead, okay. and you are going to tell me who's more likely to do it, and we're going to see if these answers match up. Okay, I'm ready. 
All right. Who is more likely to go to Waffle House after the club? Dang, that's like both. But okay, who's really? I'll, I'll let I'm you gonna... slip with both if you yeah, want to go. Yeah, I'm about to say both. All right. Next question. Okay. Who is more likely to become a part of the cast of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta? <laughs> wow, you guys really do know each other pretty well. <laughs> Who is more likely to listen to Beyonce's Lemonade album on their own, not for research, in their spare time? Oh, okay. We got a little, yeah. we got a little competition going here. Yeah. Good job. All right. So you're two out of three. Okay. Holiday, you you and Holiday know each other pretty well. I must right. say, I'm pretty right. impressed. Here's my dog. 